What up, peeps? In the last video, I left you off on the trail on this this spot that I'm at right now. So I told you I would continue on, and again, it is getting dark out today soon, so I don't have too much time before I want to head back. I'm going to take you into the woods, and we'll go on a little adventure together. Car's on the road this time. I don't know if I'm supposed to be back here or not because it's fenced off, but it says that's for vehicles. I am not a vehicle, therefore I will go. And it is a trail. Oh shoot, there's somebody here. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit freaked out because oh, shoot, we don't see him. All right, I want you to see him. All right, see that guy, red shirt? Ah! Oh my God, oh my God. Did you see that? Oh, it was a little chipmunk. It's so I never see these this close. That is adorable. Anyway, this guy's coming actually really weird right now. Because I'm totally in the woods by myself. And he's like right behind me. I'm not the smartest thing. <laughs> I'm actually getting scared by all these animals. It was a bird. Just going to the roof of red shirt, dude. This is the trail. There's like nobody around. What I can say. Wow, it's so weird today. Because I was only here one other time. First time I was here, I felt fine. But today, maybe because it's much darker, it feels sketchy. Oh, there's the red shirt, dude. He's going the other way. Hopefully he stays. Wait, no, he's coming this way. Or is he not? I can't tell. Dude, you're scaring the crap out of me. It sounds like someone's charging at me. Ugh. Anyway, I should probably not come here by myself anymore. I mean, I'm not scared scared, but when you hear something like running at you, it, it's a bit scary. The last time I was here, some dude came on the trail on a bike. This part of the trail is like really thin, and he just started screaming. He was like, Whoa! get off your phone and get off the road. And I'm just like, what? Like, this is a trail. He says something about it was for bikers, and I was like, well, you're not the only person that could use the trail. And he just like kept going, it was really weird. I didn't see any signs that said it was a biking trail at all. I did see a sign that said there was like a walking path. I don't know if I like reared off of it, but it's freaking bugs. That's another good thing about the mask. It keeps the bugs away from your face. This is the bend where the guy yelled at me like right here. I was standing here. I was just like checking my phone for a second and he came out of nowhere, like right there. He was like, He's like, screw you. Do you guys believe in conspiracy theories? I'm not too into following that kind of stuff, but this isn't really like a, it's not necessarily a conspiracy theory, but it was just something that I was thinking about that's a little bit strange. I know some people have thought of this. What if some of the things that are happening and some of the stuff they're saying on the news is on purpose to try to control us? For instance, this is just something that I thought about. Last week, when I checked the weather on the app on your phone, it said it was gonna rain all week long this week. And now there's not gonna be any rain hardly. Like what if they do that on purpose so that people don't make plans or they want to stay home or they think that they're planning to stay home because I was thinking like, oh, well, I guess I won't be doing all this stuff this week because it's gonna be raining. Hold on, I'm coming on the creepy bridge again. Holy crap, guys. I came out from the bridge, I saw that red trash bag, and I'm just like, is that guy waiting for me? <sighs> that was really weird. Anyway, so there was another day last week that it said it was raining currently at the moment, and I was looking out my window, and it wasn't raining at all. And I'm like, why does it say it's raining right now? It's not raining. And it said it was gonna rain all day long. It never rained. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't they update this? It just was really weird. So I started thinking like, what if this is like part of some kind of scheme? Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Or, right? or do I sound like I'm talking nonsense right now? Another thing that I also think they did, which is probably pretty smart as far as coronavirus to keep people inside, they chose dates 
in June to ease the restrictions because they probably figured if people were to have the freedom to do what they want on Memorial Day weekend, it would probably be insane. There would be so many people together in groups not following any type of rules. That would probably make the whole virus even worse. What are your thoughts on all that stuff? I'm gonna go a different way this time because this road is usually not closed. So it'll be nice to be able to walk here without any traffic. This is the, one of the parts of the trail that I really like from the other side. I'm gonna try to run the rest of it at home again. I think I could do it. I wanted to tell you guys something that I think you'll probably think is kind of funny. I had to come to my storage unit to get some paper towels. I saw this, which I've had in here for a while, and I don't know if you guys remember, but this was hanging up in the old house. These photos here are the ones, like the sample photos they put in there, and the whole time that I lived there, I never changed them out. It was always these fake photos that are little pieces of paper. It's not even like a real photo. It's just funny that I never changed them. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I was not planning to film my dinner tonight, but I'm going to show you this just because. Because I'm not perfect. I accidentally burnt my garlic bread that I was making. I did make some good pasta though. I made vodka penny sauce, homemade. It's funny though, because there's no vodka in the recipe. It's interesting why they say that. I guess some people do put vodka, but I didn't. If you haven't noticed by now, I love pasta. It's like one of my favorite things. About to go to bed. I am trying a new silk pillowcase out. I've heard that they're supposed to be good for your hair. I honestly don't really believe it, but we will see. And I have to do my Spanish lesson right now because I almost forgot. There's one more thing that I wanted to ask you guys. If you can help me come up with any ideas to help me surprise my dad because his birthday is coming up this week. I'm thinking of going there and doing something special for him. Not exactly sure what yet, but any ideas are welcome. I've seen so many things online where people have creative ways to surprise people during this time. Anyway, guys, I will see you soon. I love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Peace. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.